equipment there. You've gone a little on the uh, uh, modified side. Yeah, yeah, I bought something new, man. Um, thing called a TV3 or a VT3, and uh, it seems to have changed it up quite a bit by what I keep hearing there. Go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, it's got a different sound to it. There's uh, no doubt about that. Doesn't sound bad at all. Yeah, Roger D on that, man. Yeah, it's a cool little device, man. It does all kinds of all kinds of little stuff, man. I tell you, it's. Uh, <laughs> It'll do something like uh, that. Uh, you, know, you know who Roger Trumpman was, right? Uh, I don't think so, but uh, go ahead with that story. Oh, uh, he was a singer. Um, they started off as uh, Zap, Zap and Roger, or something like that. And uh, you know, it does well. Let's see. Um, here's one that will sound familiar to you. Let me do this. Do do you feel? I do. Yeah, it does all kinds of crazy stuff like that there, Tempo. Oh, yeah, it's got a lot of toys to go with it, huh? Oh, yeah, a lot of toys, man. A lot of, a lot of different sounds. A lot of different uh, old town, man. Okay, let me go through it for you, for you real here real quick. Something like, a lot of your man just got... It does all kinds of different stuff, brother, without a doubt. I mean, a readers, a readers, a readers, a readers, a read, a readers. I can't get it right. What the heck is going on here? I don't know what's going on, but I uh, can't get that sound the way I want it to be. I don't know why. I don't know why. It don't want to uh, pick it up. It don't. It don't want to pick it up. Huh. Huh. I don't know what I did to it. I boogered something up, evidently. <laughs> but yeah, man, it does all kinds of stuff there. Oh yeah, noise toys and knobs and twists and doors. A little, you know, my there, you know, things like that. But I go back to that and uh, my other noise toys. But I just got a basic board. Uh, it has it has some effects on the side of the board. I play with that, and uh, then I don't want to do anything more. And I, I work on on the computer on the word pad, uh, word pad, but the uh, wave pad, and uh, play with it that way. Oh yeah, go oh, right on that, man. Oh man, I gotta get this. I, I got this doggone sensitivity so doggone strong. <laughs> I'm gonna bring my um, I'm gonna bring my other antenna around to you here. But, uh, yeah, man, it, it, it's a cool device, without a doubt. It's only a real cool device. So what's been going on up here, man? Anything exciting there? Go ahead. Yeah, I had, uh, I had an issue with this radio, and this was off the air for about uh, four months before I finally got it repaired. I was working on my tram tightened up to that point. I ran my board into the tram. Unfortunately, the tram doesn't give me these uh, anything about it. It's just a 23-channel radio. I love the tram. It's my original one from 1968. But uh, so I ran that for the longest time until I finally got this uh, uh, Kenwood fixed. Hey, Roger D on that man. That's cool. That's cool. Heck yeah, good deal. Good fucking deal. Let me try this one more time. See if I can't. Uh, see if I can't get something different to work in this doggone thing over here. Oh, uh, there it is. Um, yeah, we can uh, change it. Damn, I must have something uh, dusty in here because I'm still hearing my uh, true voice in that. I don't know exactly what the deal is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to get this thing figured out a little bit here, no doubt about it. But uh, yeah, I heard that, dude. That's a bummer right there. But you say you got it up and going, right? Pretty good. Uh, the nice thing about the tram, um, all with the Kenwood. The Kenwood, I've got a, a broad banded on the audio. Um, but, you know, I'm almost 12 KCs on, on this here. So a lot of people don't hear everything this can uh, produce if they don't have a broadband radio. So the tram was nicer to that aspect because it was uh, the typical, uh, was not uh, any extra. So I had a lot more compliments on the tram than I did on the, on the Kenwood. 
Damn, Roger D on that man. Yeah, I got I got I got two radios that are uh <coughs> broadbanded. But um the one is in my truck and um I got this realistic here that's supposed to be done like that, but it don't work right at all. I can't uh can't work with it. I'm gonna send it out to a friend of mine and uh have him do some work to it to get it up and going right. I sent it over to Stickman um, originally there in Maryland, and uh, when he sent it back to me, the damn thing didn't work right. I mean, it, it don't. I mean, you turn it on, and it goes thunk, and the moment it gets received in it, it starts going repeatedly with that thunk. It's really crazy the way it works, so I don't even bother using it, and I don't know. I ain't going to go into that big drama case, man. I pretty much threw that into the past and, uh, you know, left it alone. But um, unfortunately, that one don't do what I really would like it to do there. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I kind of, the realistic, there's so much, so much you can do with standard radios. Um, you need, uh, you, uh, my point of view, you've got to go with almost uh, you know, a uh, export radio uh aftermarket, um, like the Kenwoods or Yazoo's or any of that stuff to, go, to get really with the sound you're going to want. Uh, I have the uh, Johnson that I'm still trying to work, get back online. I, I talked to you on that last year, but the uh, modulation transformer on that went up in smoke and trying to get parts for this thing is killing me. Uh, you know, I, I just don't want to spend another $600 just to get a radio so I can steal parts out of it. Uh, how'd you do on that, man? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, um, I got, I got a buddy who lives up in uh, um, Minnesota, and uh, he, he told me to send the uh, realistic up to him. He he knew how to do it for sure, and uh, I'm probably going to send my Cobra 2000 up there to him as well. I know he can do do a real good job with it on the Cobra 2000 because, uh, you know, I've heard his his Cobra two grand man, it, it runs real good, real nice, smooth on the uh, on the receive, and the transmit is just awesome. I don't know, you may have talked with uh, Minnesota Mouse at some point in time, two six six, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm eventually going to send them up there to him. There, go ahead. Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, I've heard uh, a number of people have uh, you know, upgraded the uh, Cobra two thousands, and they're not too bad. They're easy enough to do. I've heard a lot of folks try to do it with the RCIs, and uh, they're tough. I have an RCI in the car, uh, the uh, 6300 FST-2, uh, the 200 water. Uh, that's got great audio. I've had a friend of mine who's uh, look at it. He says, oh, yeah, I can really do is change this one little capacitor here. I'll give you that broad spectrum. Oh, great. I pop up, look at it, say, oh, my God, it's a, it's surface-mounted components. Uh, I, I just... Put my hands up. I said, "That's it. I'm closing the case back up. Put it back in the car. Leave it alone." <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! I heard that. I did. You know what? I just thought of something. Man. Let me uh, let me try and unplug this little jack here real quick, and let me see if that's where my problem came in. Uh, one two, one two, yeah. Audio. One, two, one, two, there it is. Hey, hey, Raiders Digest, how you doing up that way? <laughs> That's what I was trying to show you a little bit ago, but I come to realize something that I put in line with this thing um, made a big difference to it, but, uh, <laughs> hey, Raiders Digest. What do you think about that, over <laughs> it up a little bit was going to make it a little better but I come to find out real quick that it hurt me so I took that that dog on splitter out of line and just put it back in like I had it before um, that's weird I'd never tried it since I did that but uh, 
Yeah, it's crazy. It's uh, a real crazy thing, no doubt in my mind. But uh, yeah, dude, um, I got a buddy. I got a friend down in Texas that also does the uh, 2950s. Um, you may have heard him, may have heard of him. Um, goes by uh, 4878, and uh, he uh, he did the modifications with this uh, 2950, which, you know, 2950s and 2970s are pretty much uh, um, the same. But uh, what I'm taking is you got the DX model, and uh, I think those were the, more, the newer ones that had that uh, surface mount thing done to them. But uh, I haven't heard him up here on it yet. Um, I have, just haven't had no Mother Nature, but he was telling me about it. Um, got real good results with it. And uh, he said even on uh, the weird part about it is he said even on sideband, it sounds just as good as it's not better on the uh, modification on the, might as well say, the direct injected situation. Oh, definitely, man. Enjoy it every damn time. Most definitely enjoy it every time. All right, man. Tell the better half we said hello, and I'm going to let you go. I said, Mr. Reader's Digest. We'll catch you later. Tell the better half. I said hello with my radio. in line. <laughs> but yeah, all right, big brother. Take care. We'll catch you when we can. Have a beautiful day and uh, hope everything works out good at the doggone doctor's appointment without a doubt. Reader's Digest, audio man, week radio. Back out. Come on with your check, check. Break up, break up. Break up, break up, check, check, come on. What's going on up here around Long Island? down in Canton, Ohio, my friend. And I forgot I was rolling a video gate that whole time. <laughs> wow. Hey, what's going on around Rhode Island, audio man, down in Canton, Ohio, getting on down. Take care up that way around Rhode Island. I better shut this video gate down. It has gone for quite a while. 13-minute video gate. God dog, man. <laughs> 